Hello everybody, this is uh, Andres Salazar, uh, the creator, writer, and as you're going to see, colorist for um, Pariah, Missouri, my Kickstarter right now. So we're going to do like a um, DVD commentary of sorts, uh, where I'm just going to kind of walk you through a little bit of some of my process of how I do the coloring of uh, the comic. Uh, basically, it comes to me uh, through you know the web Jose uh, does the pencils and sometimes they're really tight pencils and there's not much manipulation or inking I have to do sometimes a little more loose and uh, I get those and um, go into Photoshop first thing and kinda do a little cleanup uh, he puts sometimes some texture on them that uh, I'll uh, I'll remove or or add here and there and uh, and then I'll go ahead and print those out you know, kind of standard 300 DPI, full-paged, uh, 11 by 17 paper. Um, once I get those, uh, I'll then go ahead and start coloring. And, um, you know, a lot of this was self-taught. I did take some art classes in college and high school. Um, but uh, I come from kind of a family of artists. Uh, my mother in particular taught me a lot about uh, painting, especially watercoloring. And it's been something I've always just been attracted to just watercoloring. I just have always loved the way it looks and the way the water kind of moves and um, how um, how it's uh, um, manipulable. Is that a word? I don't know. I made it up. Uh, <laughs> I like the way it works. Anyway, um, so my supplies, I use Winsor Newton um, watercolor paints. For this project, this book, I'm using really exclusively two colors. I'm using Winsor Blue and I'm using um, Burnt Sienna. Those are the browns. So I use those Winsor Newton's colors. Uh, my brushes, I have a six, and then I have a, a Series 7 Sable uh, Winsor Newton brush that I use for the inking and kind of the fine line work. Um, I've had that brush for a while. I need to get a new one. I think it's starting to spring out. But that's what I use. Uh, I also am going to put down some inks later on here towards the end. Uh, when I do the inking, I actually started to use Rapidograph ink. Uh, I do not like Black Higgins uh, at all, the Black Magic Higgins. And uh, Pelican ink's okay. But I found that um, Rapidograph ink is really good for really strong blacks. And um, I found that out actually through uh, Jean Paul Leon, uh, the comic book artist. He, I spoke with him at a con once and he uses rapidograph ink and I'm like really and uh, it just looks so nice the black is just so thick and strong and, um, so I like to use that for my blacks uh, and I just buy it you know you could buy those like uh, cartridge those like kind of containers of the rapidograph so uh, it's rotoring actually rotoring rapidograph but you can get whatever kind uh, it's just a really nice black um, Howard Chaikin uses kind of a mixture, uh, and he, he'll open the bottle and kind of let it um, thicken a little bit, his blacks when he does. And when I did uh, some some work with him as one of his assistants, um, he used kind of a, he used a mix, and I can't remember what the different brands that he used, but he kind of used Pelican with some other stuff uh, and made his own little concoction. He had these big, huge, like one liter bottles of, of, of ink, which was kind of fun. Um, so yeah, so here basically I'm just kind of laying down, starting out, putting uh, the browns and colors in, and I'll move into the blues uh, at times, and I just kind of play around with it. Now this page was not really complicated. Some of the pages get more complicated, but a simple page like this took me about an hour and 45 minutes. So um, about an hour and 45 minutes, two hours a page usually. Uh, some of the more complex ones with a lot of characters, it's going to take a little longer to do. Um, but I just sit here and in my uh, my Spider-Man pajama pants and my my crazy uh, aqua shirt, I'm um, doing my coloring. So um, so yeah, um, basically Pariah, Missouri, uh, as some of you may or may not know, it's a Kickstarter right now, and um, the story is about Hiram Buchanan, who is kind of like the Scarlet Pimpernel type of a character, uh, working undercover as this kind of foppish cheat, kind of effeminate cheat who uh, loves clothes and, and gambling, but in actuality, he's a, he's an undercover agent for a man named Pinkerton from Chicago. And so 
he's uh, he's there to kind of try to find out these this evil crime syndicate that's uh, going on in Pariah, this boom town on the uh, Missouri River. And so this is, happens at a couple years before the Civil War, which uh, I definitely want to get into that conflict later on in the series. But I wanted a book that's a little different than most westerns. Most westerns are post Civil War, and they're out in the Old West. You know, this is in Missouri, so it's more the Midwest, um, and it's before the Civil War. So I want to deal with some of the race issues and and things that that's gonna bring about. And being a uh, being a border state, you know, that Missouri was uh, in slavery, so that's gonna be kind of some interesting territory I'll, I want to delve into. So the story, you know, I pitch it as kind of a Deadwood meets Buffy the Vampire Slayer, meaning. Um, there'll be some supernatural things and and in this first uh, four issues we're going to be uh, following the Emporium of Marvelous Wonders this duo of theatrics that come into town and and they're not just human they're uh, there's something more than that and uh, we're going to be dealing with that so it's a little bit of Buffy a little bit of X-Files mixed in with a fun western um, and this is a uh, this is the story. So please check out Kickstarter. There's uh, a couple more videos there. Also, um, you can download actually 20 pages free. I've got a a download there that you can check out and look at the art and stuff like that. Yeah. So uh, here we are now. Now you see I'm I'm actually getting into the inks. I pulled out the uh, the series seven. Okay. Now that is a two. I think I think I'm more, I'm using a two. I have a two and then I have a zero. I use the two almost always for everything. And uh, basically I'm just going in, just putting in a little more black, spotting blacks, getting a little more stronger contrast. You know, when you print it out on the paper, sometimes it gets a little too faint. So uh, I have to strengthen it a bit. Also, I'll use a, a little markers or a rapidograph pen to kind of do some lines in there just to just pop out the blacks a little bit more. Um, and then uh, after I do that, I'm then going to go back and do a wash. I do like a an ink wash over a lot of it and here I'm putting the ink wash and the ink wash just kind of gives it a more dirty gritty feel kind of look to it um, I kind of like that old uh, you know tea stain kind of look so uh, here I'm putting the the ink you can kind of see me put the coming the black ink so I, I I mix in you got the lay the first layer of colors brown and blue and then I go in and do kind of an ink wash over it to kind of get it a grimy look so that's what I'm going for, and uh, I think it's working out fine. You know, I, uh, people are really receptive to it, and I hope you enjoyed watching the video, how I make it. And, uh, yeah, please check us out on Kickstarter, Pariah, Missouri. It's, uh, it's a fun book. Really excited about it. It's getting a lot of great reviews, and uh, I hope you support us. So uh, that's pretty much the, the process of um, how I color the book. So I'm old school. I don't do it digitally. Uh, I love textile. I love touching. So there you go. Thanks a lot, guys.